Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. And we're gonna to stick to uh, two, four. Um, often when we're doing fla flas, we do it in a uh, six, eight jig, check, 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 like that. But we're gonna stick in two, four. And um, we're gonna do rounded two, four. So like, let's think of a rounded hornpipe. That's kind of what we're going to do. It's simply going to be 16th notes. Check, plat, 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 plat. It's going to be like that. So we're just doing rounded 16th notes, one E and a, two E and a, one E. And it's all hand to hand. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, there's going to be no doubling up on the hands. So just two E seconds, I'm going to put original sound on. There we go. And then I'll pin the video or spotlight for everyone, that's probably better. Cool. And I'll just, I'll hit the pad here to make sure you can all hear. Just let me know if that's nice and clear. Cool, awesome. So let's just, um, what we'll do to start with is that all I want you to do is play 16th notes, one E and a, two E and a, and we're gonna put a flam on note number one. So just one flam for now. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so before we jump into the pata fla fla, we're just going to start looking at the flam. Okay, so super important that we recognize that, that flam on, on beat one, on the down beat, we're accenting that flam. So the high hand has an accent to it. Okay, so watching everyone that's here live, that's all looking great. Now let's add a flam on the fourth note. So it's going to be. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So it's a left hand flam there before we play the flam on the first beat. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now, before we speed it up, which we will, let's just think about how we're actually playing that. Is there somebody else coming into the room? Let me let them in. There we go. So before we speed that up, Let's take a little look at what sometimes can go wrong. So this, often this is what we find. What do you hear is wrong with that? If I was to try and scale that and build it up in tempo, it sounds a bit forced, right? It doesn't sound very pleasant. What's happening? Well, what's happening is I'm accenting that left flap. So when we've got a fla fla, there's a rule of thumb. That rule, and many of you already know, I know that some of you live are nodding your head because you know it. The rule of thumb is that we play the first flam soft and the second one accented. Now this session is not a session in how to play the soft flam and how to play the accented flam, but very quickly, soft flam, we don't accent the high hand. You let it float in, okay? A regular accented flam, we're accenting the high hand of the flam. So soft flam, don't accent on an accented flam, clearly put an accent on that higher hand only. So let's try that again, but this time, I want you to really focus on the right hand flam has a bit of an accent, but the left hand flam is soft, you let it float in. No accent on that. As you're playing that, what I want you to listen for is pla plap, pla plap. So P L A P L U P, pla plap. We want to make sure that we're hearing pla plap. We don't want to hear da dup, da dup. If you hear da dup, it means you're getting two dead flams. Right? We want to move away from that level of thinking, right? We don't want to be 
getting dead flam. So if you're getting a dead flam, the dead flam obviously means that you're not separating high hand and low hand. So this is not about let's, let's get to tempo. This is about, hey, let's move up to tempo whilst also maintaining a standard, right? So we wanna make sure that those standards are accurate. The standard that you walk past is the standard that you accept, right? And I firmly believe that as a drummer. If you walk past that standard and go, eh, that's good enough. That's the one that you accept and that's the one that you live by. So whether you're leading a drum corps, whether you're trying to become a better player yourself, always think of that as a mantra. The standard that I'm willing to walk past is the standard that I'm willing to accept. So when it comes to flaflas, if we're going to play them, let's play them really well, right? So let's, let's have a look at that again. Make sure it's plap plap, not dad dup, right? So... pretend that we're core players and we're going to just chip it say we're taking the first the two taps in between now i hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle if you'd like to see the full video head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com i will put that description in the link below please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.